Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Donna. Today I'm making up a pot of vegetable beef barley soup. And as we know, the cold weather is upon us, so it's soup time. It's getting pretty chilly, so we're wanting some soup, some vegetable beef, and some barley. It's good stuff, so let's get started. Here in my big pot, I have a um, couple of tablespoons of oil, your choice of oils whether it be olive oil, canola, vegetable oil, and get you a two pound chuck roast and trim the fat off of it and cut it into little, little, tiny little pieces, like so, just little pieces, and get that fat trimmed off of it. And I'm going to go ahead and um, cook half of it at a time because you pour it all in there, it's going to steam before it browns. So I'm just going to give it a, it's not really about cooking it, it's getting a good sear on it. So I'm just going to let that sit there. Stir it up a little, take it out, then I'll put the rest in. And this is uh, two pounds of chuck. Now once you throw that meat in there, don't stir it up. Let it, let it sear, let it stick to the pan so it'll get that nice crust and that browning on it let it let it sear for a couple of minutes and then give it a good stir and do the same thing because it's important to get a sear because that's flavor so just wanted to point that out okay i got my meat nice and brown and try to drain your meat as it's coming out i just kind of with the spatula up on the side that way your leftover oil will be for your veggies so we have two carrots I just cut them right down the middle and made little half moons and I did peel them a lot of people will say don't peel them that's where all the nutrients are. and I agree but this is presentation there's still plenty of nutrients in that carrot same thing with the celery two two stalks of celery cut it right down the middle and then just dice them not real thin because you don't want them falling apart on you in there. And one medium onion diced, small. And we're just going to cook our veggies for maybe four to five minutes. And then we'll get some garlic put in there. Okay, these been cooking about four minutes. Now, right on that, I'm going to add, I have it in here. I have one teaspoon of onion powder, one half teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of seasoned salt. We're going right over top of that with that. Then here, I have one half teaspoon of Italian seasoning, one half teaspoon of of oregano and two teaspoons of dried parsley and you're just going to stir 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 keep stirring this a good 30 seconds or so just kind of bringing up the aroma there of those dry herbs getting that flavor out of them and to this we're going to add eight cups of beef stock Okay, Ooh, this smells good. Okay. All right, let's get our beef stock in there. I have eight cups here of beef stock. And mine is low sodium because you know you got your your salt from your seasoning salt and other things there we have in there, which is basically I guess the just the seasoned salt. You can adjust your salt at the end. Okay. Now here I have. I usually do one large, but I don't have any large, so I'm going to do two medium. 
bay leaves, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and I have one 15 ounce can or is it 14.5 ounce can of fire roasted tomatoes and I like to put those in the blender and with four ounces of tomato sauce and I just blended it all together that goes in Now you can throw your garlic in with your your um, your herbs and your onions and all that, but sometimes it can tend to give a bitter, burnt taste, so I don't like to do that. Even if it's 30 seconds, because I, I just don't like to do it. I just like to put it in like this. To me, it's better flavor. And that's four cloves of chopped garlic. Now like I said, you can sear it with your other things if you want, but I like to put it in like that and that's four medium cloves of garlic now if you're wondering why well, you put onion and garlic powder in it and this that's how I've always done it to me it's be, it's better flavor and I also wanted to bring up about the you know chuck roast is expensive but it's so worth it if you want a good soup if you can afford it I would highly suggest chuck roast because it's just good flavor good marbling in it um, you can use stew meat it's that stuff's even getting up there in price but a good cut of meat makes a, a a good pot of soup so we're gonna let this hang out probably for a good hour an hour and a half or so just depending um oh we got to get our meat in there i'm gonna throw my we're gonna put our meat back in we're gonna let this simmer with the lid just until this meat starts getting tender because it'll cook another 35 minutes or so just until our barley we can't put our barley in now because it'll be complete over, completely overcooked mush and that's not good so we're gonna put our lid on and then we'll get the rest of our, our things added in here so lid on low simmer let that cook It'll probably take a good hour and 15 minutes or so, maybe even an hour and a half, and we'll be back. Now, I wanted to bring up, for the ones that are not familiar with soup making, you know, the younger generation, they're not quite sure, be sure to have a lid on, because you don't want all of your, your soup, your broth to evaporate, and that's what's going to happen. So, make sure you have a lid on it. If not, cover it with a piece of foil or... Or get, get something to cover it with and make sure it's simmering low see there it's on low I have it on a low I actually want it lower than that you barely want a little light boil going on there because this is going to boil for for a while or simmer so I just wanted to point that out alrighty alrighty this has been cooking almost an hour and a half. It just depends on how small you cut your meat. Mine's diced pretty small. All right, now to this, I'm going to add in two medium Yukon Gold potatoes, diced fairly small, as you could see, little cubes. And I do the Yukon Golds because they hold up pretty good without falling apart on you. Okay. I have one cup of drained whole kernel, kernel corn. That's one cup. And I have two-third cups of medium barley. That's two-third cups. Now this is just going to get my spoon just stir that around a little bit then we'll cover it and let it cook probably another half hour you don't want to overcook it and get your lid back on and for those who doesn't or are not familiar with barley this is what I use the medium barley 
okay so we'll let that cook just until that barley and those potatoes are nice and tender probably a good 20 minutes to half hour don't overcook it because as it sets it's going to continue cooking so you actually want to turn it off a little bit early of it being done that way you don't get mushy barley and the potatoes should hold up but you don't want to overcook that barley all right all right y'all mine cooked for 25 minutes and i turned it off and i'm just gonna let it carry over cook for another 10 minutes or so look at there guys don't that look good it sure smells good some nice hearty beef and barley soup mm -mm -mm -mm. let me bring that up and here you'll remove the bay leaf see there that look good But I'm going to let that set and we'll get some dished up and we're going to have ours with some crackers. All right. All righty. There's the finished soup. And yes, I got a whole bowl full. I just wanted it to be high enough where you guys could, could see it. But um, there's the yummy soup. I hope you guys make you up some. This is really delicious soup. It's hearty. It's just comfort food. I know a lot of people tell me, we want to hear you tr uh, hear you taste the soup. Here we go. Mmm. Boy, is that good. We're talking about tasty. Mm-hmm. But you guys enjoy that soup. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Please hit that um, subscribe button. It helps my channel. And I truly appreciate it. Until next time, you guys take care and stay blessed. Until next time, bye-bye. Enjoy the soap.